everyone welcome back to the channel hope you're having a fantastic day can you guess what i'm setting in oh yeah it's a 2018 jeep grand cherokee trackhawk so the management staff here has for some reason allowed me to drive this vehicle they said i can take it out on the streets um providing that i don't speed i'm like guys i don't speed i do the speed limit all the time so if you want me to see if you want to see me drive this vehicle have some fun in it make sure you hit that subscribe button that bell notification hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below if we can aim for 423 likes and 166 comments on this video i'll take that out for a spin all right we are headed back into the parts department you guys have been back here with me before uh my new mrr wheels are here i always have to think when i say mrr uh, because we in the dealership have a online auction report that's mmr so it's very very confusing to me in my head so i always have to think so right around the corner here they are two big boxes i gotta get those things out of here All right, so I'm gonna have them sitting right here in the showroom floor. And then the next, one of the next vlogs, I will show you the rims you guys pick. But they are here and uh, I'll show them shortly. So I have a pretty uh, crazy busy day today. I've got referrals coming in on this Premier, absolutely loaded up Volt. I have another customer coming in on this LT Malibu. Now, um, all of my business is repeat and referral, along with all my social media new clients as well. That's all I do, and everything I do is by appointment only, so it's pretty nice. And then, like, literally, I get people in and out of the dealership like crazy quick. Like, a lot of times, like, I had a, I had a customer uh, from Missouri that came in Friday, I think, Thursday, Thursday or Friday last week. And he's like, how long will I be here? I'm like, dude, I'll, I'll have you here as long as you wanna be, but like literally like 45 minutes is all I need. And he's like, really, are you kidding me? I'm like, yeah, just give me this, 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 and this. And then 45 minutes, I'll have you out of the dealership. So, and I always tell everybody that, uh, oh look, this just pulled up. That's nice. It's always a great day when the Corvettes come in. Doesn't it look like we got any ZR1s on there. We got Grand Sport, Z51 car, Grand Sport, Grand Sport, Grand Sport, Z06 with carbon ceramics. It's Grand Sport with carbon ceramics on it. We got a Stingray. We got a Stingray. Those are both non-Z51 cars. We got a Z06 or is that Grand Sport wheels? I can't tell. Uh, that's a Grand Sport wheel. That's a Grand Sport, and then that one's a Grand Sport as well. So this is a full truck. We're getting them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve cars. By the way, I thought there was thirteen. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven. I've, I've had, there's your there's your car dealer math. Let's do this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven. There we go. Car dealer math. Uh, at its finest right here on YouTube. So yes, 11 uh, new Corvettes uh, in the, on the truck coming in right now. Those are all 2019 models because we are in 2019 models. Uh, and uh, I believe this is gonna be the last year uh, of the C7. I think we're gonna have the C8 in 2020, which I will have a vlog based off of that. So as I was saying, like literally, like I tell my clients a lot of times, like when they ask me the question, how long will I be at the dealership? And I'm like, listen, I've, with all due respect, I don't want you here very long. The faster I can get you in here, sign your paperwork and move on, the faster I can get with another customer. Right now, in today's technology, in today's world of the car business, um, where especially for us being a volume store, the more people I talk to, the more people I sell cars to. I typically sell, um, I typically sell about 60 to 70% of the people I talk to um, cars. So, and uh, so, when I, when I sit there and talk to, you know, 100 people, you know, that's 50 cars a month that I sell. And, you know, I just sit there and, and, and pound away every single month. So that's that's statistics that I know. So the faster I can get done 
get done with somebody and out, um, the better. Now, I will spend all the amount of time I want. I know these cars are a huge amount of technology. Um, I know there's a ton of stuff out there. Um, I'm always available for my clients and stuff like that. And uh, I just make sure that they understand that uh, they know that I, I'll stay here as long as they want to get things done. So don't take it the wrong way that I'm just pushing people out the door because that's not going to happen. And uh, um, the CSI that you get from the manufacturer, the surveys you'll get from the manufacturers, those are always perfect. Um, that comes about 10 to 15 days after the purchase. So um, my, my, my scores are real high with, with the manufacturer, the CSI. And then um, if you look at customer reviews, those are all huge as well. Well, as you know, we sell uh, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Oh, look, how perfect is that? Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Soar. Um, so that's where I'm headed. You bet I can beat them there. But uh, so I'm trying to and attempting to to sell my very first uh, Chrysler product. I've yet to do that um, just for various reasons. I haven't done it. So uh, I'm working on selling a previous customer uh, brand new. If I sell it, I'll tell you. Nice to be here on a sunny day. Uh, as you know, we bought this late last year, so every time I've been here, no leaves on the tree. It's cold, it's miserable, so it's dreary. So today, beautiful day in the Chrysler Fiat world, you know, and Hyundai. So I was here last night, so let's go inside and check out what they've got on the showroom floor. Whew, look at that. 707 horsepower Jeep. This is for sale, 99 415 MSRP. It's got nine miles on it, so it hasn't been driven. I love the yellow Brembo calipers. Those are sweet. The rims are sick. 295, I think, on these. Yeah, 295 rear tires. Love it. So I'll give you guys a little teaser with the car. We'll uh, we'll start it up here in the showroom floor. Uh, now the CEO of the company is right there, so hopefully he doesn't get mad. But we'll see what happens. Like it? What do you think? You like it? A little loud? What sounds better, that or this? You tell me in the comments below. Well, I am back from the Chrysler store. Let me put my bag down and um, I will get into uh, the exact title of this vlog with the manual transmission car. The good news is I did sell a vehicle over there. I'm going to deliver it tomorrow. Um, so therefore I will have a video coming up soon for the first Chrysler product I've ever sold in my life. So uh, stay tuned for that. So let me put this stuff down and I will get on to the rest of the vlog. At the time of me shooting this video, I have 42 brand new Corvettes in stock. Out of those 42 Corvettes, I have zero manual transmissions. The reason why is customers just aren't asking for manual transmissions. So I had a customer come up to me and he wanted an automatic, but he says, how many manual transmissions do you have in stock? I said, I don't think we have many, maybe one, maybe two. And so that made me go look and we had zero, just like we do today. And he says, why is that? I said, that's a good question. Why is that? I said, well, marketing purposes, Chevrolet has uh, said that the eight speed automatic transmission is faster than Porsche's PDK, which back in 2015 got people really, really excited. Now, as an owner of a manual transmission Corvette and a manual or an automatic Camaro with the eight speed automatic transmission, I can tell you, and I've driven many PDKs, I can tell you that that transmission is pretty phenomenal, especially when you have it in tap shift mode. Absolutely love that eight speed automatic transmission. So at the time of that happening, I decided to go back and do some research. And it so happened to be the 2018 statistics just came out that week or that day or you know the day before or something like that. So it made me think we have 2014, we have 15, 16, 17, and a shortened 18. We've got four and a half, five years of models of sales statistics. So let's look at them and see what the numbers are 
automatic versus manual. And I was really shocked by the true numbers. So not only is GM marketing talking about the it's faster than the Porsche's PDK, I think the fact that just consumers in general are like, I don't want to shift gears. Um, the enthusiasts definitely want to shoot gears, shift gears. Um, but uh, the people who are buying in the most Corvettes we've ever sold, um, I mean, 2000, 15, we sold 34,000 cars. 2014, 37,000 cars. Uh, our biggest year was 2016 at 40,000, just shy of 41,000 cars. So it made me go back uh, words and look at all these numbers. And uh, generally speaking, well, let's just let's, let's just hit let's just hit the numbers here. So in 2014. 37,288 units sold 13.2 compared to 24,000 automatic. So 13.2 manual transmission across all brands, Z51 convertible, non-Z51 cars, uh, 24,000. So that's 35% uh, penetration on manual transmission. So uh, with that being said, that was the year of a six-speed automatic transmission. So kind of traditional, right? No marketing. So the next year, 2015, we come back and we sell uh, just a couple thousand less. Now remember, um, it was a, I think it was a shortened year or something happened that year. Uh, it wasn't a full cycle yet. So 2000, 2014 wasn't a full cycle. Uh, 2015 wasn't a full cycle. 2016 was really the first full cycle of, of cars, if I remember. So 11,008 units sold uh, with manual transmission, 23,000 sold uh, with automatic. That means a 32% uh, ratio of automatic to manuals and now the new engine the new transmission MSU came out uh, transmission codes MSU which was the eight-speed automatic which is you know again faster than the Porsche's PDK so let's go to the first full model year uh, that I remember 2016 just and it's the it's the least amount so uh, we have now gone three model years and we are selling the least amount of manual transmissions 9249 compared to 31,440 units sold uh, automatic sold so a total of 40,689 units sold so it's only a 22 percent ratio so they dropped 10 percent year over year it's a huge drop if you were if you were said even though sales were up right sales were up manual transmissions were down. So now we go to 2017 and uh, so only 7,200 manual transmissions sold. In 2018, which is a short year, they only produced 9,600 Corvettes for that for that year. Um, only 2,123 manual transmissions sold, which is 22%. So over all the model years, you're looking at just shy of 27% penetration on the manual transmission. So at some point, um, you have research and design, you have cost of manufacturing, you have all this stuff uh, that comes into play with producing a manual transmission that is standard, that's free, right, um, with the car based off of the car's um, purchase price. Is it worth to manufacture? That's the big question. Is it worth the manufacturing cost, the research and development cost, the continued support cost to the dealer from the manufacturer's level, all that stuff, continued development down the road for these cars? Is it really worth it to GM. So here we are to the point of the vlog of the Chevy Dude merch giveaway. As you know, uh, the first person to write this keyword on the next vlog, not this vlog, the next vlog wins their choice of Chevy Dude merch at the Chevy Dude store, which is, the link is in the description below. So if you don't win, no big deal. Just get your own. You don't have to stay here right at seven o'clock when I upload my videos. So uh, I want to say also congratulations to Thomas. He follows me on Snapchat. And uh, as, as you know, uh, I do a lot of behind the scenes on Snapchat. So follow me if you don't. But the key word for the next vlog is the word cruise. If you misspell it because of autocorrect, no big deal. I'm not going to sit there and make you spell C-R-U-Z-E or C-R-U-I-S-E, but attempt it in a general way that I can tell that it's actually a word you're actually trying. So uh, the word cruise is the keyword for the next vlog. Good luck. I think that answer is no. I don't think that we're going to see a manual transmission in the next generation of Corvettes. Now, if you want to know more about this subject, next generation Corvettes. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, because I've got a lot more information um, that I have just been thinking about and all the, all, the, all the new stuff out there. And I'm going off of 18 years of selling Corvettes and Chevrolet and watching things happen. I think I've got a pretty good idea when and where they're going to announce the mid-engine car. Um, I, I think all this stuff. There's only a few mid-engine cars made right now. Um, 
but I think I think I've got a pretty good idea of what they're doing. Um, so I'm out here in the Silverados because we haven't had a manual transmission in a Silverado. I believe 1999 was the last year of the manual transmission Silverado. Now this hasn't hurt Silverado sales in any way, shape or form. And that was a big, big change for Chevrolet not to offer a manual transmission Silverado. So I go back to what I said a minute ago. Is it worth it to GM to do it? I wanna know your opinion. Throw your comments down below. I'd like to know your opinion on this. Uh, you know my opinion, I don't think it is. I think the trans manual transmission car is dead. Now, as I said that, I've said it earlier before and you guys probably know, I have a manual transmission car. I'm an enthusiast. I like shifting gears, it's fun. But is it really worth it to the most people? I don't think that answer, I think that answer is no. Well, I'm done with work and uh, I come out on Tuesday nights and play volleyball. This is the first year I've done it. I haven't played volleyball since I was a kid outside of, you know, maybe in the backyard with, with no rules and, you know, people jumping in net and stuff like that. So we we'll come out here at Sand Volleyball. They have a net up over the winter time, so they took that down a few weeks ago. And uh, so it should be a fun night and we'll see if I can uh, capture some uh of me looking very bad uh volleyball skills here in the sand tonight well that didn't go real well so uh i am not going to be showing you guys any of that footage so we will end the vlog here uh, it was fun having you a part of the channel once again, so thank you so much. Uh, make sure, if this is the first time that you have uh, watched one of my videos, hit the subscribe button down below, hit that bell notification, give me a big thumbs up. Um, I can't even remember because it's been such a long day, but uh, see down in the description of how many thumbs up and comments we want in this video. I will make sure that I make more videos like this. We'll get inside that uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee and have a little bit of fun in that. And uh, if you're looking to purchase it, you know how to contact me, chevydude.com, down in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and drive safely.